Two Planes Balancing Tutorial Hello! In this video we will learn how to make a two-plane balancing in a soft bearing balancing machine. This is an EI500 balancing machine with a 15 kg rotor. It's very important to assign the plane number to each pedestal. In this case, plane 1 will be the left pedestal and plane 2 will be the right pedestal. Please connect the optical sensor to the optical sensor's port. The accelerometers located in plane 1 and plane 2 must be connected to the ports labeled Excel 1 and Excel 2. In this case, these accelerometers are inside the pedestals, so we need to plug each port with the corresponding output. Install the optical sensor near to the shaft. The distance between the optical sensor and the shaft should be between 3 and 10 centimeters. A mark for the optical sensor must be of a different color to the surface. In this case a white mark will be OK. Remember that the optical sensor shouldn't be moved during the whole balancing process. Also check that its position is 90 degrees from the surface. To start balancing with the DigiVibe MX, click in the new balancing icon. DigiVibe MX and EI Balance have a tracking filter for the optical sensor so it can read the correct RPM even if it has lightly changed. This filter must be set according to the RPM from your machine. Be sure that your machine speed is between the lowest value and the highest one in this filter. Otherwise the reading will be always zero, or near to zero, in the amplitude parameter. If you really don't know the speed of your machine, select no filter. Now we are ready to start. Turn on the machine. Adjust your machine speed according to the rotor specifications. Once you have done this, please wait until your rotor has reached a constant speed to start recording. This shouldn't take more than 5 seconds. Click on the Start Capture button. The recording time is for 5 seconds as default. After this time, this signal will be saved in the polar graphic of the plane 1. Change the switch to the Excel 2 position, and also click on the plane 2 polar graphic area, to save the next capture in the plane 2. If you have a 4 channels interface, both planes will be saved at the same time, and you don't need to select between one plane and the other. The RMS value is a global measure of the vibration. This means, that this measure will include the vibration, caused by the unbalance, and by all the mechanical looseness as well. The maximum value is the higher point found on the FFT graphic. The max frequency value is the frequency where the maximum value is located. This value usually shows the rotation frequency when the unbalance is high, however sometimes other mechanical problems produce more vibration than the unbalance. In this case the max frequency value won't match with the rotation speed. Remember that this is not an inconvenience for the balancing process. The tachometer value is the speed detected by the optical sensor. This value will always be located between the two values of the filter selected before. If you did not put this filter correctly, this value will also be wrong and your balancing will fail. The filter value is the most important value for our balancing. This value is the vibration amplitude in the RPM frequency, detected by the tachometer. In this case, we have 3.46 mm per second at 1484 RPMs. Finally, the phase value is the angle measured between the optical sensor and the location of the unbalanced mass. Now we will fix a trial mass on the plane 1. By default you can set this trial mass at 0 degrees, however you can put it anywhere, but remember, to tell the software where you place the trial mass, once you open the balancing calculator. Select again the plane 1 on the interface, as well as in the software, and start a new capture. As we did before, select the second channel and start a new capture. Please remember, 
Now we will remove the tray weight from plane 1 and place it in the plane 2. Remember, place it in the same position that it was located in the plane 1. Again we will record both planes. Open the balancing calculator by clicking on the calculator button. Select the two plane balance tab. By clicking on each left arrow, you can select the corresponding run. Don't forget to enter the trial mass weight and the angle where you place it. In this case we put both masses at zero degrees, so we'll leave it as it is. Now, this is very important, select the correct rotation using the plane 1 as the perspective. Most of the mistakes are done here. Now you can click on Calculate. Now, we will fix the correction masses showed in the calculator. Remember that the position angle of both correction masses must be measured using Plane 1 as perspective. Now we are going to calculate the residual unbalance. For this, type the final vibration as well as the working RPM. If we are satisfied with these results we can generate a report by clicking on the reports button. You can make a zoom on each cascade view. Once everything is OK click on Generate. This report will be generated in a Word document with images, so we need to configure the report to get a better view. If we are not satisfied with the previous results, run another balancing to improve the results. If you want to improve the results, first take two or three samples, and if they are similar in the amplitude and in the degrees, you may proceed with the improvement. If this is not the case, you cannot continue balancing unless you remove all mechanical looseness. All values are very similar so we can move on. Let us erase the unnecessary recordings.
All values are very similar so we can move on. Let us erase the unnecessary recordings. We added a new trial mass of 4.76 grams. Now let's remove the trial weight from plane 1 and put it on plane 2. Now we will open the balancing calculator. Select the two plane balance tab. This time the initial run will be the last run from our first balancing. Trial runs will be the other two runs. Remember that we never removed the correction masses from the first balancing. This balancing seems to be finished. Let's calculate the residual unbalance. Now to generate a report you only need to do it as we did previously. Thank you for watching.